Hi there, JKS Play is about to share with you five builds I plan to use in attempt to take down the newest seven star Mightiest Mark Terra Raid event coming soon in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Rock Terra Infernape. This event will run from October 4th through October 6th, 2024, and again the following week on October 11th through the 13th, with the second week also including the five star special Blissey Terra Raid events where you can farm for EXP candies and Terra Shards. Infernape is the second starter from the Sinnoh region to be featured in a 7-star Terra Raid event, following the Ice Terra and Polion Raid months earlier this year. Infernape is a very fast mixed attacker, with a hidden ability that will likely be featured in Iron Fist, which powers up punching moves by 20% including three punching moves all learned by TMs, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Drain Punch. Infernape is a fire-fighting type starter. And with the Rock Terra, Infernape will have several weaknesses to exploit, with the most notable being Fighting, Ground, and Water. Steel and Grass are definitely not recommended, considering Infernape is a part fire type, and it has awesome move coverage as you can see its well-balanced stat line, with speed being its highest. All four of these suggested solo builds I have coming up will have Shell Bell as its held item, starting with the Sinnoh pseudo-legendary Garchomp. I have Ground Terra suggested for Garchomp, but if Infernape has the Grass moves Grass Knot and Solar Beam at the beginning, then the best bet would be switch to Stellar Terra. With the adamant nature, and the moves Earthquake, Bulldoze to lower Infernape's speed, Sword Stance, and Breaking Swipe to lower Infernape's attack stat. Also for Garchomp, make sure it has the hidden ability Rough Skin. Next up is the new Gen 9 evolution of Duraludon, Archuludon. The best Terra type for Archuludon on this build is the Fighting Terra. With the Impish Nature and the ability Stamina, which boosts the defense stat whenever the Pokemon is hit by an attack, and have this for its moveset. Iron Defense, Breaking Swipe, Body Press, which increases each time defense is boosted, and Focus Energy for increased chance of getting a critical hit. Next up is another dragon that also just so happens to be a fighting type in the Alola region pseudo-legendary Kamo'o. With the Bulletproof ability, even though the ability won't matter with this build, the Fighting Terra and the Impish Nature, Max HP and Defense, with the moveset once again of Breaking Swipe, Body Press, Iron Defense, and Taunt, which will be used early if Infernape has Bulk Up and Sword Stance to set up its attack and defense stats. Finally, I have Malamar as the last solo build I recommend. With the contrary hidden ability, Max Attack and Defense, and the Adamant Nature, Fighting Terra and the four moves I like, with the first two being PP maxed out, Super Power, Terra Blast, Skill Swap, and Reflect. Skill Swap is there for the first turn only to get rid of the Iron Fist ability of Infernape. Then you have to have Malamar faint after Terra Blasting to charge up your Terra Orb in order for Malamar to regain its contrary hidden ability to start using Super Power and get attack and defense boosts instead of drops with the contrary hidden ability in effect. And finally, my best online support build is Toxapex, with the Water Terra type and the Held Item Zoom Lens, which makes moves more accurate than usual when the holder acts after its target, which is a given considering Toxapex will be much slower than Infernape. And the move set is Acid Spray to lower Infernape's special defense, Chilling Water to lower the attack stat of Infernape, Muddy Water, which has the potential of lowering accuracy and will be 100%, with the held zoom lens, and iron defense to sharply boost Toxapex defense which is already high by two stages. Bold nature, max HP and special attack, and the ability limber which will prevent Toxapex from being potentially paralyzed by Infernape's thunder punch. As usual you can only catch the 7 star mightiest mark Infernape one time, but you can challenge him multiple times to farm for various items including Herba Mystica. Let me know if you want to try any of these builds in the comments section below, or if you have a suggestion for an even better build that just might work for this raid. If you like what you see, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. 
As always, take care, God bless you all, and thank you for watching.